What's up, everybody? What's up? This is your man, Martin and Naya, and you are once again tuned in to the place to be. That's right. We're talking about the breakdown, or as I like to call it, Film School 101, and that's your opportunity to learn all about what's going on in filmmaking today from some of the hottest filmmakers today. Now, in just a little bit here, I'm going to bring on my man, Mr. Mark S. Allen, my brother from another mother, and he is the producer of a brand new movie that you're going to see the trailer for in just a second. But all of this is being brought to you courtesy of the Sacramento Film Festival. And because we've got that trailer hot off the presses, Jordan, I'm going to ask you to roll my Sacramento Film Festival trailer just to get him a little excited for this wonderful online film festival that we're doing this year. Roll this and check it out. We'll be right back. All right. Okay. All right. I'm juicing you up. I'm blowing you up. But why? Because in just a few moments, you're going to learn how you can get tickets courtesy of the Sacramento Film Festival to a brand new movie produced by two Sacramento filmmakers and a bunch of Sacramento talent. So without further ado, let's bring in one of those filmmakers right now. His name is Mark S. Allen. Oh, Mark, where are you, brother? You oh, like my God. You had oh, me frame no, up the camera. Am I okay? Mike. What's Are you up, all right? <laughs> you remind me of that. Uh, Should I? Is that a regular shape? Should I have that looked at? Remind me to have that looked at. I'm gonna have to have that looked at. That's misshapen. Hi. There's a there's a song called "Electric Eye" by my favorite band in the world, Judas Priest. You might want to check into that okay. next time. Next time, if I'd have known you were gonna do that, I'd play that. Hey, Mark. Hey. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, I, I, I'm excited. I mean, keep in mind, the movie that you're talking about has been, uh, for my producing partner, Howard, a part of his life for six years, for my life, five six and years. a half years. Yeah. Um, so this movie you're talking about, Notorious Nick, the true, I, I've got to give credit where credit's due. Howard saw an article in USA Today about a one-armed MMA fighter, um, and he was just coming off of Mother's Day, and he was looking for his next thing. And uh, he thought that would be great. And then he remembered one of the other producers of Mother's Day, Mark DeSaul, produced Bloodsport. Now, most Americans wouldn't know MMA fighting if not for Bloodsport. That's it true. They really put it on the map. That's right. And Mark decided to partner with Howard. They launched into it. They brought me in as a tiny little cog. Um, and the movie was a much bigger, a very aggressive, uh, ambitious project. And it was taking time. And so I pulled Howard aside and they said, uh, I've got this location. I know a story. We got to make a movie about this castle. And Howard went up to the castle with me and said, "Yeah, we let's make this movie." So he and I partnered, made Apparition, and Apparition kind of gave birth to the tribe that made um, Notorious Nick. And so lo and behold, Mark DeSaul was on board. They were kind enough to bring me along for the ride. So my second movie was Notorious Nick. Wow! Started five and a half years ago. And if you, depending on how deep you want me to jump into the weeds, I can tell you the process well, of making I, that I, movie. Let, let me. Well, let me ask. Let me start with this question because you said it was five years in the making, but you've released what? At least three pictures. In yeah, it, and the thing about it, we had picture lock on Notorious Nick. Almost five years ago, we had oh, picture, really? four and a half years ago, we had picture lock. It was a beautiful movie, already testing well. The problem was we had Cody Christian running around with a green sleeve and tracking dots on it, needing VFX. Okay, um, so tell me that story, because that's a good story. It's horrific. Uh, I mean, it, it's aged me by 600 years. <laughs> like, I, I have more it's blood a great story. My, than blood now because of this thing. Um, right. We had a special effects artist that we had vetted. He did one of the effects on Apparition. Our, our main effects artist on Apparition, Jason Miller, is brilliant. But we had to have this one other effect farmed out. The guy did a decent job. And we gave him the job of doing Notorious Nick. And he kept um, you know, asking for payments, asking for payments, had to bring in more people, was bringing in an entire arm of the effects artist from uh, UCLA to work on it. And we just kept feeding money into this machine. 
And then he started ghosting us and then ultimately went away. So we had LAPD, Culver City PD on the beat, finally found where this guy had gone. And by some miracle, they raided a house, recovered the drives. Um, but they closed up. No work had been done. So we had to take oh a new God. VFX artist. Um, wow. Like I can't say enough good things about the VFX artist and the team led by Jeremy Cho. He, if not for him, he single-handedly, no pun, resurrected this movie brought it home and oh my god is it a beautiful movie and a tribute to nick newell and absolutely and 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 again just for those people who may have missed that that little that little connecting tissue there this is a movie about a one-armed mma fighter and the gentleman that the actor had two arms so this is how many special effects shots are we talking about here 384 visual effects shots to put that in reference star wars a new hope had like 378 this had more visual effects shots than Star Wars A New Hope. Wow. Just, wow. just about every scene he's in it and just about every scene, at least a fragment of that green sleeve shows and we had to take so, it off. So folks, before before I'm remiss, let me let me do one thing. I'm gonna play this trailer for you in just a second so you can see some of this amazing stuff. And it's just this is just a taste here. Um Mark, before we before we play the trailer though, uh you got some uh you got some name talent in this thing. Yeah, let's start with the guy that plays Nick Newell. First of all, Nick Newell is a saint um, and allowed us to tell his story. We promised him. I, I went back east and, and stayed with his family for some time, got to know him, promised them that Howard Bird's a good guy and Mark DeSalle knows MMA and that they would have his back. And they did. We've, we've made a, a great tribute to his life. Is it 100% accurate? No Hollywood treatment is, but it hits all the base points. It combines some of the characters into one um cody christian signed on to be nick newell cody christian let's be honest i don't know if we could afford him at this point in time because his career has blown up he's the lead in uh all american on cw network at the time he had come off of big little liars uh pretty little liars as a smaller part in teen wolf um he does a great job elizabeth Brom from law and order plays his mom kevin pollack is phenomenal um anybody that admits to knowing who i'm about to talk about uh is probably of the older sect uh, Barry Livingston is amazing. An Oscar worthy performance from this guy. You'd be and amazed it, how many people I, that, that have, that I've been telling about this movie. They said, Barry Livingston's in this movie. Yeah. So Ernie from my three sons. Yeah. <laughs> he was on the number one sitcom on ABC from 1959 to 1964. My three sons. And he was the youngest son, Ernie. Uh, and, and, and uh, when I, I remember. Maybe and I can and I can remember the theme song like it was yesterday. We won't go into that right now. But you know, what we no, na, 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 na. that's right. Okay. Anyway, now that we have both aged ourselves, no, I just remember from Nick at Night. Told all, oh, that's right. Yeah, got it. All right. So without further ado, we got to look at this trailer. But by the way, folks, uh, Mark's got a uh, Mark's a, a very busy man. He's going to have to hop out of here in a little bit. Um, can I tell you what I'm doing? I don't like to drop names, but it is what it. I do for a living. Do it. It's what um, you do. do I'm it. about to do a live interview from London with Margot Robbie. It's the official PGA interview with her to support the new Suicide Squad movie. Can you do me a favor and just tell her that I said I love her and hi? Not necessarily in that order. I don't know what you did, but somehow <laughs> the heart was broken on that. I don't know why it didn't work out. But, I don't yeah. know why it didn't work out, Mark. All right. So in just a few minutes, my man, uh, Richard Falcone, is going to be joining us. And Richard is uh, not only an artist here in Sacramento uh, who has been doing the thing for a long time with his local theater. We're going to learn about that. But also he's got a thing coming up this Saturday for Latino artists that is basically uh, a kind of a collection point and a collaboration point. So we're going to talk to Richard in a few minutes. But for now, Jordan, let's look at that fabulous trailer. Check it out. Come on, come on, move it like you mean it. Wrestle, Nick. Nick, let me show you. You only need your right hand to pull this off. Yep. Not bad. So this is mixed martial arts? We're not MMA fighters, but we're wrestlers. The best foundation to start with. He's pinned, he's pinned. Hey, you here for the tryouts? I can't fight this guy. Nice going. I watch you train every day. I won't give up. You ready? You can go pro. Yes! This kid's the real deal. Every fighter that he's taken on has been legit. And he has not lost. 
I can't stop. You're a sideshow. You're giving real fighters a bad name. The sideshow's about to beat your ass! The XFC is denying your right to fight. I want to be heard. Fight the fight. Nick's a contender for the title. This is his shot. He's proven that he can handle it. No limit. No limit. <laughs> Nick has the right to have the career he wants to pursue. If you love something, you have to work twice as hard as everyone else. Nick Newell begins Rich Riddles for the lightweight championship belt. You won't stop me now. Fight. I ain't come this far to lose. Remember what we practiced. Stand up for yourself. You can do it, Nick. How many punches am I going to have to take before I get rid of the ground? A few. But you got a thick skull. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. If you are not juiced to see this thing by now, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Mark, congratulations. And by the way, this thing is premiering in Sacramento. I cannot reveal to you because it is a pretty much a private screening, but you know who has got some tickets. And by the way, folks, if you want to get those, you got to go to CaliforniaFilm.net and you got to uh, apply. Uh, there's a limited number of tickets and we are going to have a random drawing. But if you want to win tickets to the premiere and when is that? Is it August 4th, Mark? Is that what, is am I right about that? Yeah, it's August 4th. The movie opens in select theaters nationwide right after that worldwide and then streaming everywhere shortly thereafter. It's notorious. Yeah, yeah. Notorious Nick, Nick, baby. Ask for by name. We're in pre-production right now on a new movie. Howard's doing something for that right now, and since his regrets, he wishes he were here with us. I, you know what, and and I did, and I did promise folks that Howard was going to be here because we're going to get him next time. Actually, you know what, Howard's going to come back and he's going to do a uh, a little filmmaking 101 for us here pretty soon. So let this be a teaser for that. But Thanks. I'll tell you, if you're if you're at filmmakers at home, you could really learn from these guys. These guys are doing it. Big time. They're doing it right. And uh, by the way, anybody else that you want to send some shots out? Because I know you had a lot of local talent working on this. Yeah, I mean, so many people. It's just a shout so out. So many to people, right? Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the Sacramento community. Of the seven yeah. films that we've made together, more local people participated in the production side of this film than any of our others. And I mean, you saw the trailer right there. I mean, they did a great job. So just shout out to Sacramento filmmakers. Uh, Aaron Leong did a great job to bring this film into the finish. I don't know if you've ever worked on the deliverable process of a movie, mm -hmm. but it's where a lot of people give up. And, and Aaron was right there to help us out. My producing partner, Howard Bird, is amazing, as you know. Um, and just local talent. Uh, Cameron no, Bennett, the, the guy you saw in the trailer that plays Albie, his best friend. Uh, he's a local guy who is going to be the next big thing. This guy is amazing. When you see the movie, you'll see the great acting that Sacramento has to offer. So shout out to all the local actors and the local crew who made this movie possible. Mark, I know you got a hop, but I'm just I'm just seeing some, uh, you know, salute to you guys. Can't wait, Mark. Good luck. Awesome, guys. Congratulations. So uh, big ups to you, man. I know you got to hop out of here. But thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your time. Remember, tell Margot Roby, you know, I'm sorry it didn't work out, but I still love her. I, I certainly will. And uh, shout out to the Sacramento filmmakers watching right now. The, my production company is called Make the Movie because that's what I tell you. You want to make a movie? Make the movie. Go do it. And I'm proud of you. Mark, we're proud of you, brother. You too. How do I do that? How do you hang up? Well, we just hung you up. All right. We love you. All right. Mark S. Allen, everybody. Come on, man. What was that? Oh, my God. That was just too amazing. All right. Now, again, I, I teased it, but let me say it again. The premiere of this film in Sacramento is going to be August the 4th. Now, again, uh, if you want to win tickets to the world premiere, of Notorious Nick. There's one way to do it, and that's through the Sacramento Film Festival. So here's what you got to do. You got to go to CaliforniaFilm.net. That's CaliforniaFilm.net and exclusive. You got to sign up. Now, here's the deal, folks. Become a member if you're not already a member, and you know you need to do that anyway. But here's the deal. You may not win the tickets. There's a limited number, and there's a, there's a finite supply, okay? But here's the deal. Believe me, you will be glad that you did because we've got all kinds of this stuff that we do. For example, this right here, the breakdown, we bring this to you free of charge. And again, we're bringing nothing but the top, top talent. No fugazi. This is the real. OK, speaking of which, and again, it's CaliforniaFilm.net. You see it right there below. Uh, speaking of which, I got to bring in my other brother from another mother, Mr. Richard Falcone. Richard, where are you, brother? There, there he is. I am. Good to see you, Marty. Good to be seen, man. It's good to see you, my friend. 
I'm, I'm excited about that film, Marty. Mark oh man, I'm telling cool. you what, I am I am stoked. You know, we got a lot of stuff coming up this year with the Sacramento Film Festival. And as a matter of fact, as I'm looking at you, you're reminding me one of the things that we got coming up in September, and uh, it's going to be like the third Saturday in September. So don't quote me on the date, but I think it's September the 20, uh, 18th. There we go. September the 18th. It's called Cine Latino. Now, and I know I'm not telling you anything you don't know, Richard, but for those folks at home that don't know, Sacramento has a very, very rich Latino arts history. Okay. As a matter of fact, the gentleman who really founded this film festival, festival, Kenneth Segura Noel, did so really because it was almost like a dare. It was a bet. And you know who dared him, Richard? I know you go. I want you to say it, Marty. I want you to say it. The late, great mayor, Joe Cerna. So, so you're the first to hear it here. One of the things that we're going to do with Cine Latino this year, in addition to bringing Latino works from all over the world, including uh, the latest film from a man named uh, Gabriel Retes, who should be on the, uh, if he's not, the Mount Rushmore of Mexican cinema. Uh, and he has just passed away. His latest film we're going to be premiering for you. Uh, and we're going to have his producing partner, uh, Meritzel there and a lot of other folks. So this thing's going to be big. But the other thing that we want to do is honor the memory of late Mayor Joe Cerna for really being the founder of the Sacramento Film Festival. And I might add, uh, for, for doing so much for uh, Latino arts. Now you, my friend, are also doing some things for Latino arts. First of all, let me, let me, let me back up a little bit before we talk about what's coming up on Saturday. Uh, let, me, let me ask you, Tell me a little bit about your own kind of your 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 own history with uh, with the arts here locally and what you've done both as an artist and as a curator of arts. Well, thank you. Um, you know, back when I started Teatro Nagual back in uh, 2006, we started with a brand new musical about the life of Cesar Chavez and the creation of the United Farm Workers Movement. And that's Sacramento history. That's California history. That is Latino history. And it just struck me that we need more of that. Uh, I was inspired by Manuel Pickett, who was doing Chicano theater with Sac State and Teatro Espejo. He's now out here in Sacramento doing that with shows too. And I said, we need more. We need more. So created the, the, the teatro, started giving Latinos a place to be able to be seen, to work as directors, as artists, as stage people. And so now we have kind of morphed that into social justice theater, where we are telling the stories, telling the stories about our people of other people and the inequities that are that are just still there. Yeah. For us artists of color. Well, and, you know, I hate to say it, 2021, for God's sake, that we're still having this conversation. But there are still inequities, uh, not just in the arts, but uh, obviously society-wide. Um, you know, I saw uh, Dolores Huerta. I mean, what is she, 90 years old? I saw her on TV the other day talking about uh, the issues that are that are happening right now for with voting rights. And this is real, folks. Uh, we, we, right now, we're, we're facing, uh, you know, voting rights issues. We're facing all kinds of issues with discrimination. And I know that you've got a thing as it relates to the arts and specifically to muralists. But would you have a thing coming up on Saturday? Tell us what that is. You got it. Yeah. Well, I started, you know, I, I get uh, a number of calls from other artists here. But the Latino Arts Network back in 2012 did a study here and found that the city of Sacramento back in 2012, very, very little as far as arts funding for organizations of color was being allocated. And we fought, others have fought, we lobbied with that, with the help of many city council members who have come and gone in there, we started getting better. But we've been noticing a trend. And now, especially if you talk about theater, if you hear about what's going on with We See You White American Theater and what's going on there, there has been a movement, a movement to make sure that our artists of color get seen. And not only just on stage or on film, but whether you're backstage or behind the camera. And we need to make sure that we are making our people competitive enough to be able to take those on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we noticed recently that there were again more things that the city could have been doing better 
the mural project that is going on. The Film Foundation, let's be honest, Marty, Cine Latino, Sacramento Film Foundation, you guys have been doing it. You guys have been educating the people. You've been crafting and growing filmmakers in there. We got to see you guys continue, you know? Yeah. And so, well, and, and, then, yeah, and then you take like the Latino Center of Art and Culture, the Washington Neighborhood Center, so many of these organizations that are building the arts, and we're saying, wait a minute, how are, how are you funding this? How are you selecting this? Help us to understand the process so that we can be competitive, so that we can be there and be recipients of yeah. some of those dollars, that we can uplift each other. So this Saturday, July 27th, 9.30 a.m., Little Mixer, and at 10 a.m., the Sacramento Latino Artist Community, hosted by the Latino Center of Art and Culture mm -hmm. at 2700 Front Street, Mm -hmm. Over there by Miller Park, yeah, we're going to be holding a get together with the city, with officials from the city of Sacramento okay. to talk about what's going on and to give our suggestions of how they can do better to make sure that they are equitable in the fight. Especially when you start talking about the American Rescue Plan, sure. and I want to just one more plug in here, if I may, Artie, Mar Marty, yeah, on July twenty seventh, you film artists. You are artists just like the rest of us, whether right. you're behind the camera or in front of the camera. On I'm July out. 27th, city I'm council out. meeting, they're yeah. going to be talking about the American Rescue Plan. And the Latino Economic Council wants to get as many of you artists, especially Latino artists, yeah. to call in and tell the city for the American Rescue Plan dollars, we want you to make sure you are prioritizing and, yeah. and that's a, and Richard, that's a Tuesday. So we're talking about two separate things. So this Saturday, yeah. the 24th at 930. And uh, give us that address again. That's going to be a roundtable discussion with the Latino artists of all stripes. Of all stripes. And, uh, some city, city, city people are going to be there. And what? And when is that? Where is that again? At, that's at, at the Latino, Latino Center of Art and Culture, 2700 Front Street, Street. just right. south of Broadway. All right. Right by, then, the police barn, right by the police barn. Okay. All right. Uh, 2700, 2700 Front Street. And then on Tuesday at the city council meeting, and that happens what, in the daytime? Or when does the city council meeting happen now? Uh, I got to check again, and I'll let you know. You can, right, you can check it. You can go to the city of yeah. Sacramento.org. But uh, that is where they're going to start discussing funding allocation for the arts and for everything, for that matter. And for right? everything with that American Rescue Plan. Okay. Okay. And, you know, the arts are vital. Marty, if not for your filmmakers and the stuff that was going, I got to tell you, you guys helped me. Your people helped me to understand the value that film adds to my theater people. Sure. Being able to do my shows. Because we're in the middle of a pandemic still here, guys. Get vaccinated. Okay. Just put that out there. <laughs> but we see, you know, another upsurge coming. Are they going to close theaters down again? They might. But. What if these film people partner with the theater people and we're doing quality shows for the people, streaming it live, yeah. streaming it recording? There's a place for all of us to do some really great art. Well, check it out, brother. Uh, I'd like to do this. Uh, Jordan, if we could bring my man, Eric, Eric Qualls, I'd like to bring. I know you think you just watch him. I'm going to bring you in here, too, because I, I agree with you 100 percent. We have to show up or we have to show out. Uh, we have to represent. Where's Pharaoh? Is Pharaoh in the house? Pharaoh, come on in here, brother. So these are two young <laughs> filmmakers right here. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, you know, uh, Pharaoh, uh, you were just in our 48-hour uh, film festival, right? Yep. Tell me what that was like, brother. It was fun. I was. I can say it was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. And then Eric has been working um, behind the scenes supporting the California. Look, we're all volunteers here. California Film Foundation and the Sacramento Film Festival, we're all volunteers. But the reason I wanted to bring you guys in, you know, Eric is an actor and Eric's been working with me for a long time and helping me not just with Cine Soul and the Sacramento Black Film Festival, but helping me and all of the other folks, uh, Jorge Santana with uh, Cine Latino, uh, Vincent D. Miles with Cine Soul and all of these other folks that come together as a consortium to help make it happen. So I want all of you guys to show up on Tuesday. And again, with two minutes left, uh, I'm just going to go around, around Robin here just really quickly because we just have a, just a little teeny, teeny, weeny bit of time here. 
But Eric, if you could say in one sentence why people need to support the arts, what would it be, bro? And the film arts specifically, what would you say? Uh, I would say people would need to support uh, Sacramento film arts just because, you know, it just supports our community out here in Sacramento. We're trying to uh, bring up you know, the level and seriousness here and here in the art world here in Sacramento, too, as well. And that, um, you know, it's just it's just time to level up and do bigger things and right. have the industry take us more seriously, for sure. Absolutely. And that and that comes when we get better and we get better at our craft. Farrell, what would you say? I would say basically it's it's necessary. <laughs> yeah. It's it's time for everyone for new up and coming filmmakers, actors and everybody to, you know, descend ascend, ascend to the next level. So I can say yeah. it's it, it's necessary to just support just yeah. you know get us out. Well, there. hey bro, you guys already know that we got your back. And as a training resource, as an ongoing resource, just like what we did here with Marcus Allen, on and on. I mean, we've been this 27 years. You know we got your back, and we're going to continue to do that. But it would be nice to see that with the city. And, again, one more time, Richard, same question. You know, the, 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 the reason why the arts are so vital is because, especially in times of this pandemic, we are finding, and, and, and you know, I, I don't want to knock necessarily anybody on there, but we are the second responders, man. Yeah, we're keeping people yeah. positive. We're talking about joy. We're talking about pain, and we're showing people, and we're giving them the opportunity to be able to be to have their stories heard, to create, yeah. and to feel like they are part of Sacramento. So, Marty, and you and your guests there, man, keep it up, guys. And I need you. I need you right. to start filming my theater stuff. Hey, Amen. Por la raza, my friend. All right. Tell you what, everybody, on behalf of Mr. Mark S. Allen, my brother from another mother, uh, my man Farrell right here, my man Eric, and of course, the indomitable Richard Falcone. We're going to see you next time right here on The Breakdown. Keep it locked. California Film Foundation, CaliforniaFilm.net, the CFF. Ask for it by name. Accept no substitutes. We love you and peace out. We'll see you next time. Peace.